what I am going to teach you how to practice loving kindness meditation. So, in Buddhism, Buddha explained different kinds of meditations. So, this loving kindness meditation is you will feel comfortable and you will progress very quickly in your meditation. You know, so first of all, you have to begin by radiating loving and kind feeling to yourself. Remember a time when you were happy. Mm -hmm. When that happy feeling arises in your mind, that feeling is warm and glowing feeling. For instance, when you hold a baby, when you see the baby's eyes, what do you feel? Your eyes smile. Mm -hmm. Your mind smiles. And your heart also smiles. Right? So that happy feeling brings up in the center of your chest. And when you feel that, then you wish, uh, may I be peaceful, may I be happy, may I be content, may I be full of joy, so you radiate loving kindness to yourself, 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Only 10 minutes when you feel that. Then after 10 minutes, you choose a spiritual friend. So, a spiritual friend should be same sex, not opposite sex. For instance, you have a best friend. Mm -hmm. When you smiled with him, so that a smiling, his a smiling, bring up in your center of chest. Mm -hmm then you radiate loving kindness to him. Mm -hmm. May my friend be happy. May my friend be free from suffering. May my friend be content. The way you did to yourself, same thing you will do for your a spiritual friend. Mm -hmm. So whenever you are going outside, you can stay with a spiritual friend by radiating loving kindness to, to him. Mm -hmm. So you are going by train, you are going by bus, you are walking on the road. So you can radiate loving kindness to a spiritual friend. Then, when your mind is distracted, you have to use right effort. Mm -hmm. So what are the right effort? For example, all your observer meditation is here, right? Mm -hmm. And your mind go away. Your mind is distracted. Mm -hmm. You That one is unwholesome. Mm -hmm. So don't keep attention continuously there. When your mind go away, you have to recognize it and release it. Don't keep attention anymore there. And in our brain, in our brain there are two loops, right? Around the brain there is meninges, mm -hmm. you know, when tension and tightness arise, it works against the meninges. Mm -hmm. Then you feel headache, you know, then tension and tightness arise. So you have to relax, just relax it. Mm -hmm. When you relax, then you feel your mind very clear, pure, and agile. You feel that. It means that you are overcoming tension and tightness, craving. That one is one sort of craving, you know. So you are overcoming craving. 
relax, just relax. Then you have to bring up the wholesome thought in your mind. Mm. So how do you bring up the wholesome thought? If it's very difficult to bring up the wholesome thought, just smile a little bit. A smile not only in your eyes, a smile in the corner of your eyes, corner of the lips, in your mind and in your heart. Then you'll feel the wholesome thought will arise in your mind. Then stay with the wholesome thought. Does it make sense? Is it clear? So when your mind is distracted, recognize it, release it, relax the tension and tightness, and bring out the wholesome thought. If wholesome thought doesn't come quickly, just smile a little bit, and then you'll feel that wholesome thought arise. You'll feel happy and comfortable. You know, this is called the right effort. So whenever mind is distracted, you have to recognize it, release it, relax, mm. and bring up the wholesome, smile a little bit, and then stir the wholesome thought. Again, continue loving kindness meditation. Okay. So what is the meaning of mindfulness. What is mindfulness? Mindfulness means to remember, to observe how mind's attention moves from one thing to another. This is the good definition of mindfulness. You'll see people in this country or around the world, they will give different definition. But this is exactly when you practice, you'll see how your mind is moving from one thing to another. So you have to watch that. This is the correct definition of mindfulness. Remember to observe how mind's attention moves from one thing to another. Not why, why is the about psychologist matter? This is not. In Buddhism, say how, how mind is moving from one thing to another. This is called mindfulness. So you have to watch it. You know? So when you close your eye, then you start radiating loving kindness to yourself, then you'll see how your mind is moving from one thing to another. This is the correct definition of mindfulness. What is craving? Craving is, I like it. I don't like it mind. When sensual desire arises, I like it. I want it. Right? And when hatred arises, I don't like it. So I like it, I don't like it is called craving. So when sensual desire arises, I have to recognize it. This is unwholesome. Then release it, relax in, in your head and mind, and bring in the wholesome and stir the wholesome thoughts. So when hatred arises in your mind, because this is unwholesome thing, right? Craving, I don't want it, I don't like it, then you have to use the right effort, right? So today I'm going to explain the five hindrances. So people think that five hindrances are enemy for a meditator. Actually they're our friend. What are the five hindrances? Number one, sensual desire. And number two, hatred or aversion. And number three, sleepiness and dullness. Number four, restlessness and anxiety. Number five, doubt. So these five are called hindrances. When we practice meditation, the five hindrances must arise 
in your mind. So whenever five hindrances arise in your mind, you just recognize it, release, don't pay attention continuously, and relax in your mind and the whole body, and bring up the whole sum thought. Or if possible, just a smile, it will be done. You will see the whole sample will, will arise very quickly and as to the whole sample. Is it clear? If you practice this way, then you will feel that joy will arise in your mind. Then, when five hindrances don't arise anymore, then joy will arise. You will feel light, you know then you will attain the first jhana, second jhana, third jhana, fourth jhana. So what is the meaning of jhana? Jhana means levels of understanding, stage of meditation. So you will understand later on because this is just a basic uh, instruction. These are the basic instructions for today. And now I want you to sit for 30 minutes. Is it okay? Can you sit for 30 minutes? So when you see it, please don't move, don't twist or a scratch, don't rock, don't rock back and forth, don't change your posture, okay? Mm -hmm. Then if you can sit like the statue, then you'll see how your mind is working, functioning, how mindfulness arises and disappearing, arising and disappearing. You just observe it. So, at the beginning I said, begin by radiating loving and kind feeling to yourself. Remember a time when you were happy. When that happy feeling arises in your mind, this is warm and glowing feeling. Then you make wish, may I be happy, may I be calm, may I be peaceful, may I be content, and so on. Ten minutes for yourself, and the rest of time you can to say spiritual friend, then you can start radiating loving kindness to him. Okay? So please sit down. Close your eyes. Begin by radiating loving and kind feeling to yourself. Remember a time when you were happy. When that happy feeling arises, it is warm and glowing feeling. Then you make a wish. May I be happy, may I be calm, may I be peaceful, may I be full of joy, may I be content. Then you can radiate loving kindness. Ten minutes for yourself. When any hindrances arise in your mind, just use the right effort. Recognize it. When unwholesome things arise, unwholesome thought arise. Release it, don't keep attention, 
there. Relax in your head and mind and whole body. Then bring up the wholesome thought in your mind. Just a smile a little bit. Then stay with the wholesome thought. This is feeling meditation. The more you smile, the more wholesome thought will arise in your mind. 